this video we're setting up our MyGov ID on our mobile phone. So this is an Android phone. We just head into the Play Store um, and we type in MyGov ID. Should be the first one that pops up. Has that little um, icon with a green fingerprint on it. And we install. Okay, and that's installed. And let's open that up. And we get greeted with this create a MyGov ID screen. Click on the button. Tells you all about it. Start now. Read the terms, read the privacy notice. Click on accept. And you'll have to enter an email address. Now this would normally be your personal email address because you as an individual only get one MyGov ID um, account or login. It is used to log into your personal items. You can also be invited to use your MyGov ID to log into your work. Um, so if you're a director of a company or maybe you're a bookkeeper or something like that um, and your employer wants you to access BASs and things like that, they will invite you in, but you always use your personal MyGov ID. So you will always use a personal email address that you have access to all the time and not, not one at work where if something happens you can lose access to it. So personal email address, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I am using my work email. It will send a code to my emails and I just need to enter that in. So now I'm being asked to create a password now this password needs to be 10 characters, uppercase, lowercase, number, special character. Please use something you don't use everywhere else because if somebody else gains access to this password and gets access to your MyGov account or government services, Centrelink, whatever, it can cause real problems. So please make sure the password is secure. That's mine entered and next. So now we enter in all your details, fortunately, and done. Okay, so now we get this screen here. Uh, now the ATO is experiencing a delay with verifying documents, so it can take some time, just persist with it. Um, it might look like it's not doing anything for five, 10 minutes, where it is actually still doing its check, so just be patient with it if you're having a problem. Um, so. At the moment, our MyGov ID here is set up, but nobody, I mean, the government has no idea that I am who I say I am. So we have to do essentially a 100 point ID check. So you can use your passport, driver's license, birth certificate, visa, um, IMI card, citizen certificate. Sometimes a Medicare card shows up, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure why. Um, if we'll let you do Medicare, great. If not, um, driver's license, birth certificate will normally get it done. So driver's license, you can scan your license where it will pick up your name, your license number and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's not perfect. I do prefer to enter it. That way I know my details are all okay. So details all entered. Um, I will note with your middle name, Sometimes you will need to only have your initial. I think it depends on state. In Victoria, um, I'm putting in the full middle name and it works. But if you do have issues, um, try just your initial. Okay, so that one's gone through. Um, I did edit the video a little bit. It did take five minutes, um, but you don't want to watch uh, the wheels spin around for five minutes. Um, so birth certificate, I'll enter in all the details. Okay, so that's done. So now my ID is set up. The government recognises that my phone is mine and I am who I say I am. So when I go to log into any ATO services or any government services and I use my MyGov ID to do so, they're confident that it is me logging in and not someone who's been managed to get access to my username and password. So I'll quickly demonstrate how that works. 
So this is my online services for agents. Click on login with MyGovID. I enter in the email address associated with my MyGovID. And then it says I have to enter that into my phone. So if I go back to the phone, four, two, three, five, accept, phone processes it, and then on my computer, it will log me into the ATO. And that's how that works. So my gov ID, all done, all set up. So there's nothing you can actually do in your MyGov ID. It is purely there to enter in the code that you get from the computer when you go to log into things. Um, and that's it. That's the MyGov ID video all done.